guys what's going on my name is Luis today is September 22nd 2024 and God bless to every single one of you guys if you can please share this video we have a big breaking news coming out sirens are blasting and sounding across northern holy land non-stop mm -hmm. wow there's a lot more, guys. We have tons of information. We have breaking news here, guys. The Bear Nuclear Submarine Cross Under Arctic Ice Near U.S. Coast. We have more breaking news updates. Siren sound again in Southern Holy Land for suspected drone infiltration. So we're going to see what's going on with all these breaking news, guys. Uh, here we go. There's a vehicle engulfed in flames outside D.C. Secret, you know, what secures area with a uh, crime scene tape. Hmm. There is a lot of information coming out here, guys. We have tons of uh, breaking news, especially what's going on in the Holy Land. Guys, follow me over my new channel, The Rise Up Warrior. I've been posting videos about the Holy Land. And uh, you need to check out those videos. All right, guys. Uh, for those of you that want to send us letters, a prayer request, you can send it to me, Luis Santiago, or my wife, Jessica Santiago, at 3432 U.S. Highway 19, number 2, Holiday, Florida, 34691. All right, so we're going to start with the Holy Land. And then from there, we're going to go with the nuclear submarine off U.S. coast. All right, so we're going to uh, start with this one here, guys. Once again, please pray for the people out there in uh, the Middle East. It's really hot. U.S. is sounding the alarm. They are urging citizens to get out of Dodge. Leave. Suspected drone infiltration sirens are blaring in the southern Holy Land community of... I'm going to skip that name. Um, and this alert follows... A massive barrage of rockets fire from Lebanon, targeting northern communities in a series of strike on this uh, region early in the morning. Now remember guys, it's morning time in those regions. There were three impacted in the rocket strikes. All right, so this happened in um, those uh, region. I'm going to skip the name here, guys. I truly apologize. This platform, they really love going after those who talk about this story. So you have uh, Megan David, MDA, is treating three lightly impacted from rocket strike. Now, several others are being treated for acute anxiety or minor uh, injuries from falling while running to shelters. Oh, man. All these information will be shared on my Twitter page. Breaking news. The Holy Land forces close this news office facility. Why did... Cl I thought uh, freedom of press is something that's you know, very important. So, the Sleeping Giant... Uh, going after RT, the Holy Land is going after them. Why? I mean, we are entitled to know what's going on in these biblical war, right? Now, the reason why in Canadian Prepper, if he's the one that came out with this, and I agree 100%, uh, when it comes to RT, uh, you guys know RT is, uh, is the bare news. Put it like that. Um, they're getting rid of them or try to you know keep them under the rug because the next event is going to be ww3 all right so you guys already know all these uh uh news that is against the western uh, a lot of them are being put under the rug all right so um just like this channel and stuff and uh, others uh channels out there so when ww3 hits the fan there's going to be a lot of um uh, information being put under the rug. Put it like that. Holy Land forces stormed this news. And I'm going to skip that name there, guys. Alright, so delivering a military order to close it for 40, 45 days? You know it's 45 days, right? 
You know, it was 45 days, right? November election. <laughs> oh, man. Wow. Give me a second here. Give me give me one second. I, man, I got to pull this up. I got to pull this up. Wow. Boom. 44 days left until November. There you go. The countdown. 44 days. Why is the Holy Land shutting down certain news for 45 days? Actually, that was posted an hour ago, so now it's 44 days. Exact time. November 5th, man! <laughs> so, this is, uh, this is huge. The signs are out there. So, once again, the Holy Land... Forces stormed this news office, delivering a military order to close it for 45 days. According to this news correspondent, the forces attempted to remove the iron door of the building housing the office, ultimately sealing it off. Man, what's going on here? As we get closer and closer to November, we are seeing some great shaking in here. <sighs> Man. The Holy Land military spokesman announced new restriction for civilians in Northern Holy Land due to the event. Now, facilities and workplaces can only operate if there's a nearby shelter, and gatherings are limited to 30 people outdoors and 300 indoors. The restriction follow widespread Holy Land military strike on Hell's Ball sites and uh, equipment launchers in southern Lebanon. Hungary warned of potential uh, rocket launches in the coming hours and urged many to follow home front and guidelines, command guidelines closely. Man, this is where we at right now. Breaking news. Boom. More sirens are blasting. Fifth wave of siren sound around. See, wow. Galilee? They're already firing towards the Holy Land. They're already firing. Sirens are blasting once again, this time in the Sea Galilee, including in other regions. One, two, three, four, five, and six, as Hellsburg continues its rocket strike on North and Holy Land. Man, it's going down. More! It's nonstop. There's more! More alerts. Wow. More alerts now all across the communities to the north and east of... I'm going to skip that name there, guys. Wow. Event in the Holy Land, Lebanon. Conflict intensifies. The Holy Land military intensified strike in southern Lebanon, warning residents in northern Holy Land to remain vigilant amid rising tensions. Hellsbull launched uh, rockets in retaliation for Holy Land strikes that has taken many and Hellsbull commanders. The sleeping giant warned of increase and urged its citizens to leave ASAP. Leave. Huge boom sound in Hellsbull communication devices and the takeout of the commander have uh, escalated tensions further. Meanwhile, huge event in the Strip continues with the Holy Land strikes taking many, including young ones. Oh, man. Come on, Ben. Uh... And I've seen videos. I've seen videos of the young ones. And it's not only like young one. We're talking about newborns. Um, 
I seen videos and it really, really hurt me. It really did. Look, I stand with the Holy Land. I do. But when it comes to stuff like this, I, again, yeah, I'm putting my foot down. Absolutely not. There is uh, brothers and sisters in Christ out there in the GAZA strip too. Uh, a lot of people think that uh, all of them are bad. There are brothers and sisters in Christ. They're Ben, 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 Ben. Ben, Benny, 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 Benny. Boy, Benny, Benny. Mm. Mm. That's all I got to say. I got to be careful because this platform, they do go nuts. Follow me on Patreon. It's only $1 a month. We're going to talk about this tomorrow. It's, and, and Patreon, I don't use cold words. Big breaking news. Big breaking news. Holy Land Military says 85 launches detected crossing the border from lab. Following alerts between 632 and 7 in Northern Holy Land, Holy Land approximately 85 flying objects launches were detected crossing from Lebanon. Some of the flying objects were intercepted with impacts reported in this region. One, two, three. So there's three of them. All right. So firefighting, fighter, or excuse me, firefighters are currently working to extinguish several fires that have developed in the area. All these information will be shared on my Twitter page. Twitter link. The link will be in the comments box. Breaking, breaking, breaking. Man, there's a lot of breaking news. The whole uh, a widespread wave of strike now in southern Lebanon. <sighs> They're going at it. They are really going at it on a Sabbath. On a Sabbath. There is give me a second here, guys. We have breaking news. Give me a second here. Okay, give me a second. Okay, so... All right, so it's working now. For some reason, there was a bad connection going on. All right, so we have breaking news here. There is a Sabbath emergency. Hold on. They're calling it a Sabbath emergency. Sabbath emergency meetings in the Holy Land. Fears of enormous strike today. This information was posted an hour ago. Right now it's 12.55 a.m. So the, uh, this information was released an hour ago. So this is today. Uh, an emergency meeting. Sabbath emergency meeting. Wow. It's really going down now. Okay. Right now I'm just waiting for updates. Now let's go with the with the submarine. All right, let's go with the submarine. We have uh visitors in the US coast. The bare nuclear submarines cross under the Arctic ice near the sleeping giant coast. Let's see what's going on here, All right guys? Uh so it's going to be like a back and forth thing here. I'm just waiting for updates. So let's go with this one here. Whoops. Two. Two of the Bear Navy submarines. So there's two of them out there. One armed with nuclear. Oh, man. <laughs> one armed with nuclear completed a voyage under the Arctic, the ice of the Arctic. For a transfer from the Barents Sea to the Pacific Ocean. 
Oh, so this one's in the Pacific. The Bear Defense Ministry on Monday announced the transfer of two nuclear power submarines as part of Ocean 2024, a week-long strategic exercise that took place in the Pacific Ocean and the Arctic Ocean. That's the again. That's the reason why uh, the Sleeping Giant has deployed uh, soldiers in Alaska. So the transfer also comes as the Bear Capital and the Sleeping Giant Capital heated up their rival uh, rivalry. Uh, in the northern hemisphere this month, they have deployed nuclear capable bombers to the northern Europe and northeastern Asia and conducted power projection around the freezing Arctic region. Oh man. The voyage uh, was more than 4,000 nautical miles, where uh, submarines in Perador, Alexander III, I'm going to skip the other names, uh, arrived at their new home on the Kamchatka Peninsula in the far east from the Barents Sea in the northwest, shifting from the northern fleet to the Pacific fleet. Now, during the transfer, both submarines used a route that passed through the waters of six Arctic seas in a difficult ice condition, the Bear Defense Ministry said. Now, the unmanned Arctic seas are believed to, be, uh, to have included from west to east the Barents Sea, Kara Sea, Laptev Sea, East Siberian Sea, and Chukchi Sea. They are all the marginal seas of the Arctic Ocean, situated along the lengthy northern coast of the Bear. Chungchi Sea is the one that bounds the Sleeping Giant. It is the north of the Bering Strait, a waterway separating the Bear uh, Peninsula to the west and Alaska to the east, connecting the Pacific to the south and the Arctic Ocean to the north. Like I said, that's the reason why they deploy uh, military and equipment out there in uh, Alaska. The ministry did not specify the voyages, points of de departure, and arrival. The Northern Fleet has a ballistic uh, missile submarine base in this region. Uh, base for cruise missile submarines. Uh, I'm going to skip those names there, guys. Both are within the northwestern region of Momonsk. Once again, you have the submarine base near, yeah, I'm going to skip these names here, guys, in the home of all nuclear power submarines assigned to the Pacific Fleet. The peninsula lies between the Bering Sea to the east and the Sea of Okchask to the west. The Emperor Raider Alexander III is a 24,000 ton ballistic missile submarine armed with up to 16 submarine-launched ballistic missiles, and each missile carries six nuclear warheads at most. This type of equipment is one of the three parts of the Bear nuclear triad. Look out. This right here. Yeah. That's a big warning. We have a submarine out there, and it's carrying at least 16 ballistic missile. This thing is packed. This thing is packed. And uh, once again, each missiles, uh, each missile carries six nuclear warheads. That's uh, a very important information I wanted to sh uh, share to you guys. So please share the video. Very concerning. I can't believe we are 44 days away. 44 days away from November. You know, that's, that's like a month. Oh, man. We are 44 days away from November. Jeez.
We have breaking news. Look at this. Uh, this is coming out from uh, Alabama. That's coming out from Alabama. Breaking multiple people impacted in five points south area of Alabama. Now, I'm skipping certain words here, guys. Just follow me on this one. We have more breaking news updates. More breaking news. Significant Holy Land airstrike now against Southern Lebanon near the border with the Holy Land. I'm still looking for some more updates here, guys. But it seems like it's going to be a long night. And I have a strong feeling. Give me a second here. I have a strong feeling. Uh, I, I guarantee Steve Luckner is still alive. Yep, Steve Luckner is still alive. He is still alive. He was going to end his live stream two hours ago. <laughs> man, the man works hard, though. He does work hard. Hmm. Breaking news. Give me a second. Following the alert earlier in Southern Holy Land to the north of this region and near the border with Jordan, a hostile aerial target coming from the east believed to likely be a cruise missile or drone launch by whoa by Persia backed forces in Iraq was intercepted before it reached the Holy Land airspace. Wow, look at this. You got uh you got multiple regions getting involved. I guarantee the Sleeping Giant is helping them out. They possibly took that thing out. I think that right there might have been the Sleeping Giant uh, defense system that has taken out that drone. I believe so. I have a strong feeling the Sleeping Giant is, is helping the Holy Land. It seems like this is all the information so far, guys. It's going to be some back and forth going on here. All right, it seems like this is all of it. Um, geez, you gotta be kidding me. Crane military spending has exceeded one hundred and fifty billion dollars, but this amount is not enough for Crane. We need more. You know what's one hundred and fifty billion dollar? You know how much I mean oh my goodness man. Oh man, I'm so done with this world. Man, um wow. Mm. One hundred and fifty billion dollars given to them. <sighs> that hurts. That really hurts. That's our TAX money right there. That hurts. <sighs> 
we have breaking news updates. The Holy Land military reports that Persia backed Hezbollah fired 85 rockets at Northern Holy Land in just 36 minutes. Wow! Following the sirens blasting that sounded between 624 and 632 and between 652 and 7 in the numerous areas in the Holy Land, approximately 85 projectiles were identified crossing from Lebanon into the Holy Land territory. Some of the projectiles were intercepted and fallen projectiles were identified in the areas of these regions. I'm going to skip their names. Man. Hezbollah has now claimed responsibility for the fourth and largest uh, rocket event so far today against Northern Holy Land, with the strike claimed to have targeted a facility belonging to Rafael Advanced Defense System near these regions. It says here a statement issued by the... I'm going to skip that name. In the name of God, the most gracious, the most merciful permission to fight has been given to those who are being fought because they have been wrong. And indeed, skip the name, is competent to give them victory. God Almighty is true. In support of our steadfast Palestine, you know what, people in the strip, and in support of their valiant and honorable uh, resistance and in initial response to the brutal events committed by the Holy Land enemy in various Lebanon regions on Tuesday and Wednesday, the pager and wireless devices. These uh, group impacted the military industry complexes of the Raphael company which specializes in electronic means and equipment located in, I'm going to skip the name. Alright, so once again Victory comes only from God. That is a statement coming out from Hezbollah. All right. So once again, we are seeing that uh, great war is rising. Now you guys already know the Holy Land is, in scriptures, the Holy Land will not be defeated, in in scriptures. So the Holy Land will stand strong. But the only thing that I don't look up to is those that is running the Holy Land. Again, some people's not going to agree with me. That's fine. But Ben, he said that he doesn't want Jesus and he don't need Jesus. And I'm like, uh-uh. Nope. We all need Jesus. And But uh, one thing, guys, um, we need to pray for them. And taking out young ones, I'm not down with that. Ben has done some major operation in the GAZA strip taken many many young ones and that's something that uh, yeah I'm not down with I don't tolerate that young ones are innocent in the Lord's eye all right guys I think I'm gonna end it here but uh, follow me on Twitter follow me on Twitter all the information will be in the comments box I want to thank everybody so much for your support Make sure you memorize the verse. I'm doing verse of the day. The link, uh, the verse uh, will be in the comments box. And uh, thank you so much for tuning in. Make sure you subscribe. Hit that notification bell. And thank you so much for all your support, either through PayPal or Patreon. Your support really, truly helps out. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Have a good night. For those of you that want to give a light to Christ, you can email me. My email is in the description box. Me and my wife are here to help many and to lead many to the righteous path, and that's the path of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. For those of you that want to send us letters and prayer requests, you can send it to me, Louis Santiago, or my wife, Jessica Santiago, at 3432 U.S. Highway 19, number 2, Holiday, Florida, 34691. Thank you so much for watching. God bless you all. Put your faith and trust in Jesus Christ, for he's the only way, the truth, and the life. No one gets to the Father but through Jesus. Thank you so much for watching. Till next time later. Peace.